Hello YouTube, Wes here checking in with a brand new episode of the Let's Get Digital show. This is where I share with you all my CD, DVD, and Blu-ray music finds every month. Today we're talking about the month of December 2023. Hope you're all doing well. I uh, hope you've been enjoying me getting caught up with all these finds I've had over the last half of 2023, trying to get these all put up so I can get caught up and have these all cataloged in my collection. Um, so wanted to share these with you before I got them all cataloged and put away. So let's go ahead and get into it. December 2023 did have a couple of newer pickups that I wanted to share with you first off here. Uh, first one, I did pick up the new album, or the first, I guess the first album by the artist Jelly Roll, Witsit Chapel. Um, I kind of saw this guy around a bunch and started hearing about him and you know saw his album in stores and like, who is this Jelly Roll guy? And then I was in the, uh, I was in the bin store, the, the, the pallet store kind of place uh, on Wednesday when everything's a dollar. And this happened to be down in one of the bins and I picked it out grabbed it and uh, checked it out and I, I, I kind of dig Jelly Roll, kind of kind of fun stuff, uh, very very sort of uplifting kind of hip hop country kind of stuff. I, I dig what he's doing, so it was definitely worth a dollar to pick that up, so I grabbed it, I was glad I gla grabbed that. Um, I also finally got around to picking up the latest album by Hozier. I do really like Hozier as an artist and this is, um, Unreal, Unearth. I've heard uh, the song that's been playing off of this and really like it. I'm looking forward to diving deeper into this one. Uh, nice vertical gatefold on that one. So I picked the one new one up from Hozier. Um, and then I also picked this up um, in a sort of blind buy bargain bin haul that I did from Deep Discount. And I picked up mostly vinyl, but I did pick up this one. Uh, it's called Ten Snake with the uh, the, the uh, album title of Glow. I believe this is some sort of indie electronic kind of stuff. Looking forward to diving into that. That's still sealed. Um, and then one more higher price thing, and then we'll get into some thrift store finds. Uh, this one came from Sunshine Records uh, from their UCD shelf. I saw this there, and I couldn't pass it up. This is 89 to 99, a decade of hits from Gangstar, or full clip, a decade of hits. Uh, so a two CD compilation of Gangstar stuff on CD. So uh, yeah, pretty cool find. I do have some Gangstar on CD already, but I thought for $5 that was a good deal. Uh, so let's get into these thrift store finds. I also have some antique mall finds. We did go to the Lake City Antique Mall in the month of December. Uh, let's start off with some Christmas stuff since it is December. We're talking about December anyway. Uh, I wanted to share with you some Christmas finds. These are from the Hospice Thrift Store. They tend to hold their Christmas CDs back throughout the year and then put them out all at once. And for some reason, they got put out really late this year. It was almost Christmas when they finally put the CDs out. I guess somebody forgot to put them out or whatever, but they finally put them out. Um, so I picked up uh, the Brian Setzer Orchestra's Boogie Woogie Christmas, still sealed. Uh, they're 50 cents a piece there, so I added that one to the Christmas CD collection. Uh, we got a Hawaiian Christmas. Uh, Noelani and the Leo Nehalini, Nehal, Nehalini Singers. Um, butchering that but yeah Hawaiian Christmas music that'll be that'll be a fun one to spin uh, got a sealed copy of Josh Groban's Noel got a copy of Trans Siberian Orchestra's The Christmas Attic recently showed this in a in a vinyl video so have that on CD as well um, and here's a cool one Peter Paul and Mary a holiday celebration so one from Peter Paul and Mary and then finally for the Christmas music, we have Billboard's A Rock and Roll Christmas. This one's got um, Queen, Billy Squire, George Thurgood, Weird Al Yankovic, Foghat, The Kinks, The Beach Boys, Dave Edmonds, Canned Heat, and Cheech and Chong. So nice lineup there of some rock and roll Christmas type stuff. Um, so let's see, what next? Let's go ahead and get into the antique mall finds. I thought these are pretty interesting. These mainly came from two different booths there at the Lake City Antique Mall. It's a Webb's Antique Mall, if you're curious about it. Uh, one booth had CDs for $1.69, and another booth had CDs. They had CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays all for a dollar. Um, 
uh, but I only bought CDs and uh, one DVD audio disc, which we'll get into. Uh, but let's do the, the booth that was $1.69. Uh, this first one here, we got a super audio CD of Ricky Martin's uh, Sound Loaded album. So I do have this on CD as well, but um, I'm, I'm always on the lookout for super audio CDs, and I tend to pick them up there if they're affordable or something I really want. Um, and that was that was this was definitely more on the affordable side, but uh, something I'd like to have as well since I already have it on CD. I can upgrade, so that was a nice find. Uh, this next one got a copy of the Spider-Man 3 soundtrack. This one has a lot of a lot of good artists. Uh, the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs, the Killers. Um, let's see who else is on here. Flaming Lips, Black Mountain. Um, Jet is on here. Yeah, just, just some good artists that I, that I enjoy and maybe some new artists for me to discover. So I picked that one up. I uh, got one here from Paul Wall, Get Money, Stay True. Uh, I, like, I do like Paul Wall quite a bit and that Houston hip-hop type stuff, so was glad to have found that one. Uh, Lenny Kravitz, Black and White America. I was glad to find this one, too. It's kind of something on my radar a bit. I'd heard of it, heard about it. I was like, oh, I'd like to hear that sometime, and finally ran across a copy of that, so that was fun. Uh, I got another hip-hop one here, Busta Rhymes, Back on My BS. Pick that one up. I got one here from Mick Jagger's solo album, Wandering Spirit is the title of this one, I think from the 90s. Hadn't never seen that album before, so might not be very good, but I'd like to hear it at least once, so I grabbed that one. I got a copy of Duran Duran's Red Carpet Massacre. That was a cool find. Got a promotional copy of Portishead's self-titled album, so that was pretty cool. Gold stamp promo on that one. Got one here from Ghostface Killa titled More Fish. Solo, solo uh, release from Ghostface from the Wu-Tang Clan. Got a solo one here from Snoop Dogg or just, you know, an album from Snoop Dogg, Ego Trippin'. Some of these, some of these sort of mid-period, late-period uh, Snoop Dogg albums I just never got around to picking up or listening to. So that was a nice one to find. Got one here from Star Death and White Dwarfs with uh, The Birth is the uh, name of this one. Psychedelic kind of stuff. Uh, one, one Christmas release here. Uh, this is MTV's TRL Christmas. So a bunch of TRL type artists on here. Um, Smash Mouth, Weezer, P.O.D., Sugar Ray, Blink-182. Uh, yeah, a bunch of bunch of those kind of artists on here, so that, that'll be a fun Christmas one to have. And then the last one from the $1.69 uh, booth, this is David Bowie's Never Let Me Down. And I do have this on vinyl already, but I saw it on CD for $1.69. I thought I'd better pick it up while I have the chance, so did that. Uh, so let's get into these ones that were at the booth that everything was a dollar, which was kind of cool. This first one here was a bit of a mistake. It's an edited version, which I didn't realize. Uh, but that's Trina with The Baddest Bitch. I do like Trina quite a bit. I'd like to have this album, uh, but I didn't realize this was the edited version until I got home. Uh, this one was a pretty cool one, too. I'd never never seen this album before. Kind of a later album by Cyndi Lauper. This one's titled Sisters of Avalon. Very neat. I think this might be pop punk. I forget it. I forget now already. This is Say Anything with an in defense of the genre. Two CD set. Uh, this was really cool. Copy of This Mortal Coil with uh, Twilight and Shadow, the 4AD label. Like This Mortal Coil, great stuff. Uh, we got a copy of With a Little Help by My Friends. With a Little Help from My Friends, Joe Cocker. Have that on vinyl, but I wanted to have the CD or dollar. I would go ahead and grab that. BB uh, King live at the Apollo. Nice live blues stuff here. And BB King live at San Quentin. A couple of BB King live ones. I got Rush Grace Under Pressure. Trying to trying to slowly collect all the Rush releases on CD. Ja Rule, The Last Temptation. This is also an edited CD, so that's unfortunate. I like to find the, the unedited version whenever possible. 
Uh, we got another hip hop one here. This is Yo Yo with Ask Somebody, female hip hop artist. I got one here from Cursive. Happy Hollow is the title of that one. Um, this one looked pretty cool. The median price on this on Discogs is $37.49. So apparently it's pretty collectible and it's autographed as well. This is Dork with Suck It. It's, I'm guessing this is probably some punk type stuff. Um, I'm trying to trying to dip my toes into punk a little bit. And yeah, I saw that and I was like, that's pretty cool. And when I got home and looked it up, I was like, oh, I'm glad I, glad I grabbed that one. So that's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool release. Glad to have had that, found that. Um, here is a dual disc of Franz Ferdinand. I believe it's, uh, let's see, you could have it so much better. I do like the dual disc format. Always pick those up when I see them. So glad to add another one to the collection. Uh, we got here one here from Big Daddy Kane, Prince of Darkness, more hip hop. Trying to pick up hip hop whenever I can find it. Uh, here's one from Dead Can Dance, Spleen and Ideal. I think is it Spleen and Ideal. That's that's a weird title. It's Dead Can Dance. It's one I didn't have on the 4AD label. Glad to have found that one. Uh, this next one still sealed. REO Speedwagon, Not So Silent Night, so a Christmas release from REO Speedwagon. Um, and then these next two, I was kind of on the fence for, you know, their, their compilations. I was like, do I really want to have these? I was like, they're only a dollar. When else am I going to have the chance to buy them? And so I bought the Beatles Red and Blue album, the Red and Blue Cases on CD, you know, the, the original releases from whenever these were released, early 90s or whenever these came out. Um, but yeah, picked both of these up for a dollar a piece, even though they're marked $4.99 and everything was a dollar in that booth as far as media goes. So, you know, for $4.99, I probably wouldn't have bought them, but for a dollar, I'll, I'll have these in the collection just to have them. Um, and then the last thing from the dollar booth, I got a uh, really cool thing here. Hadn't seen this before. Uh, this is the band with the last waltz on dvd audio um, so yeah last waltz great great concert film and uh, this is you know the whole thing on dvd audio so it should be a nice surround sound and sound good kind of stuff uh, so that was a neat find okay let's get into some thrift store finds here uh, these first here are from the goodwill in lake city we also visited the goodwill while we were there uh, this first one here is Jan Tiersen with Dust Lane. Complete blind buy. Looked interesting. I thought, what the heck. I didn't I didn't even get charged for these CDs. I bought a whole bunch of DVDs and stuff, and I paid way less than I should have anyway. So these were basically free. Um, we got Heart with The Road Home. Later Heart album I hadn't heard before. And Heart Brigade, another Heart one I didn't have. So... Pretty cool. It's a couple cool pickups there, and as I said, I really didn't pay anything for those, so that was good. Uh, these next are from the Humane Society, and they were having a media half-price media sale, which they're normally 50 cents a piece for CDs, so these were 25 cents a piece, which is really good. Um, we got Frank Zappa, Overnight Sensation. That was a nice find. Best of Randy Newman. I think this is on a Warner Rhino kind of compilation kind of thing. Very nice. I do like some Randy Newman. Uh, the Cranberries, Wake Up and Smell the Coffee. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a duplicate. Natalie and Brulia, White Lily's Island. As I said, it's not, not getting these cataloged has kind of hurt my ability to check. Um, this is kind of a instrumental Japanese drum group titled Yamato um, live in Amsterdam 1999 still sealed uh, so that was a that was a cool find and then another one from them this is also sealed um, this is Thunder World Tour 2005-2006 from Yamato a couple cool Japanese drum group kind of fans uh, another copy of Feist the Reminder. 
Yeah, I've been picking up some duplicates by accident recently. Um, but we're going to get that solved. We're going to get all these cataloged and then we'll be caught up. Uh, we got the Breeders with Last Splash. Uh, blind buy here, Smoosh. She like electric. Sounded, sounded interesting. And then got several here from Lenka. This one is apparently self-titled. I think she's a pop artist. Pretty cool. This is Lenka 2. I guess the second release. <laughs> and then this is Lenka Shadows. Did your sleeve there. And then, okay, that's it. And then these next, I think these next two both are Ingrid Michelson. Uh, this first one is Ingrid Michelson, Everybody. And Ingrid Michelson, Human again. Pick those up. All right, let's see what this next stack here is. Uh, okay, these are a couple from Goodwill here, uh, 50 cents a piece on these uh jane's addiction ritual de lo habitual the edited cover just i thought this was an interesting sort of piece to have just because it's edited and they put their statement on there about uh, you know amendment one and all that kind of stuff so i thought that was kind of a neat neat thing to have not particularly valuable but just a fun thing to have uh, this next one was a blind buy, uh, Chantal Kervasiak. Uh, what if it all means something? No idea what I'm getting into there, but looked interesting. I got one here from Five Finger Death Punch, War is the Answer. Uh, got one here from The Colorist. I believe this is self-titled indie rock group. And then this was just a guilty pleasure Paris Hilton, self-titled. I, <laughs> I never heard this before. I just gotta. I want to hear it just to see, just to see what she did. Uh, that'll be an interesting listen one day. Uh, okay, this next stack here are from the Repurpose Project. Uh, I've got one here from Natalie Merchant in uh, Ophelia. Uh, Frank Sinatra's "In the Wee Small Hours." Uh, this is from Di Antwood, a uh, hip-hop artist, Mountain Ninja, and The Nice Kid. I've not listened to an, uh, a Di Antwood album before, so I thought that would be a good one. Um, this is, again, going to be a duplicate. Johnny Lang with A Long Time Coming. Another one I recently picked up in the last three or four months. Uh, this is Hugh Laurie with Let Them Talk. Still sealed. Um... This one was a pretty cool find. This one has a median price of $20.30. Cousins, Daz and Snoop. Uh, kind of a weird private press kind of thing. Daz Dillinger and Snoop Dogg. But it's an official release and it's pretty collectible apparently. So that was, that was a nice find. Uh, Katie Malua, Piece by Piece. This is jazz rock, jazz pop kind of stuff. And Katie Malua, call out the search. This is apparently a duplicate as well. Elton John duets. And then we got Skylar Gadaz and the Ugly Girls with Two-Headed Monster. Complete blind buy on that one. Not sure what I'm getting into at all. Got a couple here from another Goodwill visit. Got some uh, This American Life shows on CD. Still sealed. That would be a fun one to listen to because I don't normally listen to those, but I do enjoy them when I do hear them. Um, and a German pressing of Keith Jarrett's Colon Concert. I do have this on vinyl. I have it on CD. I have an American CD, but I found this German one. I had to have it, so I have the uh, German. German issue of the Colon Concert. Great piano concert. Um, let's see. These two here are from a hospice visit. Uh, I believe this is like a pop rock kind of group on the Nunsuch label, Afa Rex. Uh, the Queen of Hearts is the title of that one. 
Um, and then Savage Gardens self-titled album. All right, and then this next pile are also from the Humane Society half price sale uh, on a different day. So these are still 25 cents a piece. This one's a group called Shiny Toy Guns. We are all pilots. A group called She Wants Revenge, self titled, blind by there. A CD single for Orgy's Blue Monday. Do like, do, do like that track, a bit nostalgic. Uh, abandoned Pools, humanist, Humanistic. This looks like some, some indie rock kind of stuff. Got Cage the Elephant, self-titled. We got Orb with Orbis Terrarium. This one I already have. I don't know why I picked it up again. I should have known better. Uh, Stone Sour, self-titled. Blink-182, Enema of the, of the State. Uh, Deep Blue Something with 11th Song. Meredith Brooks, Blurring the Edges. We got Soul Coughing with El Oso. We got Garbage with Bleed Like Me. Poe with Hello. And Stone Temple Pilots with Core. Right, one more little stack here from Goodwill. And then, uh, well, these are two, two from Hospital. Two from Hospice and one from Goodwill, and I'll let you go. Got a CD version of Van Morrison's Moon Dance. Have that on vinyl already, but would like to have it on CD. Got a copy of Dolly Parton's Hungry Again album. Very nice. And then one pickup here from Goodwill. Uh, this is a DVD audio disc of Diana Crawl, and this is The Look of Love, and that one has a median price of $16.80. So that was a good find. So that does it for my December digital finds, all CDs pretty much, except for some DVD audio stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments down in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, great night. Enjoy some great music, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.